What is going on guys? It is Jared. I am pissed off because I just recorded like five minutes of this stupid video that I'm going to have to make over now because I exited out. It should say, are you sure you want to exit? You're fucking making a video. But it didn't. So nonetheless, um, I'm here to say a couple things about what's been happening around the nation. Whatever. So, my hard drive, which I realized went missing on Thursday, this past Thursday, um, I was kind of, you know, by Thursday night when Andrea came home, I kind of knew, like, oh, I'm fucked, I don't have this hard drive, you know, I'm not gonna get it back, most likely, and then, you know, it's just, it's basically what I still think, um, Friday, she looked a little bit, but basically, you know, before I even, before I called her, I had looked. Like, everywhere I thought it could be. So, immediately, I was kind of like, oh, I'm fucked, I'm not going to get it back. So, still, to this day, I still, and it is Sunday right now, it is 12.45 in the afternoon. Oh, so, I'm not going to get my hard drive back, I'm almost positive of that, which is really unfortunate, but I do have, the items I have in my hard drive, most of them were perishable, like, I can get a lot of them back from my old laptop, not my old laptop, it's still my laptop, my laptop, um... Um, there's some things that I can't get back, obviously, you know, there's the Ask Alexander concert I just recently put on there, there's, um, like, the presidential thing from when they got elected, there's that on there, and that's not that big of a deal. I had some videos on there that I don't have anywhere else, um, but most of the stuff that's really that important to me, I can get it back, thankfully. At least I think I can. I hope I can. But yeah, majority of the stuff like um, logs and um, I am so all that. I I got that on my computer, so I'll be able to get that back on there. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Like I'm just really pissed off. I just wasted five minutes. <sighs> oh my gosh, just I'm really irritated that I would let it end that fast. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um. Most items I can get back, so I'll have to buy a new hard drive. Hopefully, though, it'll turn up, which, honestly, I doubt, but I'm just I'm still giving it hope. Hopefully, it'll turn up sometime soon, but I don't know. Probably not. Um, but, yeah, so my hard drive is gone, and that I was going to up there. I had some gameplays I was going to upload. I had a bunch of gameplays that I could have uploaded. Oh yeah, and my round um, 53 is gone now. That kind of pisses me off. Along with all my C4 clips that I was going to put into a montage, that's all gone now too. So I'll have to either make new clips or forget about the C4 montage or probably will just forget about it. Which is unfortunate because I was really um, looking forward to giving you guys that montage. Uh, well, for myself more so. So I used to be like, oh yeah, look at me. Throw my C4. Throw my C4 you know? <laughs> Not really. But, uh... Yeah, so my hard drive, I'll probably be getting a new one sometime. Um, it's just, you know, but most of the items on there, again, I can get back. Um, just a few of them, which kind of sucks, you know, for the ones that I can't, but I can get most of the ones that are really that important, so. That's what's important, I guess, huh? Right? Yeah. Um. So... Two days ago, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Uh, it was two days ago. I'm pretty sure that I saw the on the Xbox Home. I saw the Uprising trailer, so I was like, "Oh, let me watch this." And it looks really cool. The magma map, especially, looks really cool to me. Um, on account, it kind of reminds me of the lava land in Mario Super 64 Mario. So immediately there, I was like, "Oh, sweet!" But um, it looks pretty cool. They usually make DLCs look pretty cool, even if they're lame anyway, so. Um, I'm excited about it. The Mob of the Dead, which is a new game mode. Um, not sure if that's actually a new game mode or they're just saying that. And it's just going to be a zombie map. That's what they mean. I don't really know. But, nonetheless, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be released, like, next week or some shit like that. So, it should be pretty cool. Uprising. Hell yes. Uh, and I have the season pass. I don't have to worry about purchasing anything. So, it's all good. Alright, so now you know that my hard drive is probably not going to be found, so I'm not going to be able to upload Call of Duty videos for a while, and I had a, a couple of good gameplays on there that I wanted to upload, but unfortunately I won't be able to, 
And that, um, I saw the Uprising trailer, and it looks pretty sweet. The mob is dead. Alcatraz, oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. I hope. I don't know what they mean by new game mode, though. Nonetheless, WWE WrestleMania, me and Andrea ordered it this past, well, this morning, actually, we ordered it. I was talking about it to her, um, on Friday. And I, when I told the secret, she was like, what? I was like, yeah, I know, it's crazy. It's expensive, $60 for a wrestling event. But, but you got to understand, it's not just a wrestling event. It's WrestleMania. It's like the Super Bowl of wrestling. You know, um, it doesn't get much bigger than WrestleMania when it comes to wrestling. Um, so, this, is the, this will be my first WrestleMania experience watching it live um, on the TV, of course. This will be my first time ever watching it when it was actually on. I've always seen DVDs of it. I've never actually seen WrestleMania. You know, I've seen videos on YouTube, all that junk, but I haven't actually seen WrestleMania live as it was happening. And that's what's going to happen this year. And it'll also be Andrea's first time. So, pretty stoked about that. Um, that's actually in less than... It's about six hours and ten minutes from now is when it's going to start. Um... So I'm pretty stoked about WrestleMania 29. I believe that's WrestleMania 29. Um, yeah, like I said, it's my first WrestleMania. Um, ever since I got Netflix like a few months ago, I've been getting back into wrestling slowly. You know, because it's kind of interesting to watch things on Netflix. All those about the wrestlers and all that crap. Kind of got me back into it. Uh, a little bit. I mean, I'm not, like, uh, following every single week, like, like, you know, hardcore wrestling fan that I used to be. Um, but yeah, one thing Hulu Plus is good for, we just started our service, like, a couple weeks ago. Hulu Plus is actually good for wrestling because it's the only, I think it's the only, like, video site that has WWE on it where you can just watch it, like, the next day, and that's pretty sweet to me. I think that's awesome. It's probably one of the only good things about Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus kind of blows. I don't think it has that good of a selection. Not sure if it was worth eight dollars a month. If it would be, it would be basically probably because of <gasps> wrestling alone. Because it's on there, that's the only reason why it would be victorious. But yeah, it's not. It's not as good as Netflix. Netflix has a lot more options. You know all that shit. Hulu Plus, it's okay. But like I said, the wrestling is what makes it pretty sweet for me, anyways. I watched uh, Friday Night Smackdown from this last Friday. I watched the Monday Night Raw. So, you know, uh, I wasn't into it as much as I used to be into wrestling, but I was still into it, you know. Um, that's why I want to see WrestleMania this year. It looks pretty sweet. The Rock versus John Cena as a rematch. Um, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. And I didn't even know Brock Lesnar came back until like a few weeks ago. I was like, what the hell, Brock Lesnar? Because he used to be in wrestling, then he left. He was a beast. I always thought he was a beast, too, you know? Um, but, yeah. I'm back, kind of back into wrestling. Been watching, well, I watched the last two wrestling, SmackDown and Raw on Hulu Plus. I think I watched um, another Raw before that, too. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. So, I decided to ask Andrea if she wanted to order it, and she said, well, she didn't want it in the beginning, but then I was like, oh, 50 50, we'll go 50 50. I'll pay 30, you pay 30. No, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to owe Andre 30 bucks, and we're going to go see. Ah. And we're going to watch WrestleMania tonight. Well, I am going to start in almost six, in almost seven hours. Well, almost six hours from now. So, it should be pretty interesting, but now. To finish out this video, I'm just going to give you my, uh, what I think is going to happen at WrestleMania. My, uh, result, you know what I mean, you know, like, what I think is going to happen, who I think is going to win at WrestleMania, what, the matches, okay? That's what I'm going to say. Alright, first we're going to start with The Rock versus John Cena now. John Cena, I'm not a big fan of him. When he first came out. He was probably in wrestling for like a year or two, and then that's after I stopped watching wrestling. I'm not really sure about that. But like I said, um, it was like when I stopped, around when I stopped watching wrestling, like, religiously, John Cena was like, you know, he came around a little bit. He was just coming around and stuff. And then when he got really big, I really wasn't interested in that much. 
I want The Rock to win because I like The Rock more. I've seen The Rock more in his prime. I haven't seen John Cena that much in his prime. Uh, and The Rock's a beast. Uh, Cena's a beast too, no doubt. But I just like The Rock better. But for this match, who I think is going to win because of WWE and their storylines, I think that John Cena will come out the, victor the victorious one. On account, last year, The Rock beat John Cena. So I think they're going to make it Cena's turn. Just what I think. What I want to happen is The Rock to whip his ass. But I guess we'll see what happens with that. Okay. And on the, the um, site, 33% say The Rock and 67% say John Cena. Alright, The Undertaker versus CM Punk. For me, this is the easy one. Undertaker, just, I don't really care about CM Punk. I don't really know him that well. I wasn't really into it when he started wrestling. Actually, um, I think I was into it. He was wrestling for ECW, I believe, when, around when I start, stopped watching wrestling. I don't really give a crap about him either way. Um, Undertaker is at 83%. CM Punk's at 17%. And yes, Undertaker, I, I really think he's going to kick his ass. Triple H and Brock Lesnar. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm sure he's going to like that. Um, Shawn Michaels will be in Triple H's corner or something. I didn't even know that until just now. Makes sense, though. Um, but I think, personally, I think Triple H is going to win. I don't think his career is over yet. 85% say Triple H. 15% say Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is a beast. I think Triple H is going to win. Uh, because, you know, it's his, it's his uh, career online. Albert Del Rio versus Jack Swag. I don't really know either of these guys that well, but Albert Del Rio is the fan favorite, so I picked him to win. 82% says he will win, and 18% says Mr. Swagger will win. Randy Orton, Sheamus, and The Big Show versus The Shield. I personally think Randy Orton, Sheamus, and The Big Show will win, and 81% agrees with me. 19% think The Shield will win. Wade Barrett versus Miz. Two people I don't really give a crap about. Two people that I don't really know that well. I'm going to vote. I voted for um the Miz, actually. Yes, and 75% said the Miz will win, and Wade Barrett was 25%. Ryback versus Mark Henry. Ryback, I don't know, but as soon as I saw him, I was like, wow, this guy's a fucking beast. And he is a beast. I think he's a beast. I think he'll kick Mark Henry's ass. He is at the polls at 87%, while Mark Henry's at 13%. Tag Team Champions, Team Hell, which is Kane and uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston. Ooh, yay. You get to see AJ Lee. Mmm, so fucking sexy. Um, uh, I'm thinking the, the Team Hell no one. 82% says that is the case, and 18% says it'll be Ziggy and Langston. Um, Chris Jericho versus Fondango. Now this, this match is kind of stupid to me, but I think Chris Jericho won, just because. 88% think that Chris Jericho won, 12% think Fandango won. And uh, this match I don't really know much about, and it looks kind of stupid, and I don't really give a fuck about it that much, but Tensai Clay and the Fun Tadesicles versus Road Scholars and the Bella Twins. It's like a girl, two girls and two guys versus two girls and two guys. I'm going to go with this side. 79% say um, Tensai, Clay, and the Fund. That's the one I voted for. And 21% say Rhodes, Scholars. Yeah, I don't really care that much about that match. But I think that Tensai, Clay, and the... Yeah. So, those does my WrestleMania... Um, what the hell do you call it? Who I think is going to win. You know, uh, my... My WrestleMania... I can't think of the word right now. It's really annoying. Uh, my picks to who's going to win WrestleMania. That's, that's what I think. Alright, guys. I will also be most likely... Well, we have tickets now. Going to see SmackDown on Tuesday in TD Garden in Boston. So I'm pretty psyched about that. We also bought the tickets for that this morning. And... It, here's one of them. Kitty Garden. Alright guys, so...
Thank you for watching this. Um, oh yeah. And it's crazy to see how much technology is just entering this world more and more. I watched, I think it was the People's Choice Awards, I watched that on Xbox Live, not on the TV, and it was nice definition, nice high definition, so I'd much rather watch that on um, Xbox Live than the TV when I, I don't have good high definition because I don't have the box, I have a little tiny thing. I watched that on uh, Xbox, I watched the election coverage of the night of the election on the Xbox, and I'll be watching WrestleMania 29 on the Xbox tonight in just six hours in one minute so I don't know it's a good thing somehow a lot of live things are going to be happening on different things such as Apple devices Xboxes Playstations you know all that so um yeah it's crazy how much the world is just throwing new things at us each and every day now some of it's good and now some of it I don't think is that good some of it may appear to be good but in in reality it's really not that good maybe not for the human brain I don't know guys but uh we're advancing pretty crazily now we can I don't even have to watch it on Comcast I'm not gonna watch it on Comcast because I wouldn't get high definition I'm pretty sure I would hope it's high definition on WWE pay-per-view on the Xbox but I'm not really sure it's probably gonna be pretty good you know better than the Comcast edition anyways Sure, I'll be watching WrestleMania tonight. You heard my votes. You, you know who I think it's going to win. I wish there was a Divas match. There's really not. There's like a tag team with two girls, but that's not the same thing. Ah, whatever. What happened to the the, the pillow match? Ah, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Enjoy WrestleMania. Go rock. But I have a feeling John Cena is going to win. Just because... You know how WWE is. At least I do being a fan for so long as I was. Peace. First WrestleMania live event. Peace.